Hey guys, uh, Razvan coming to you w with another video. Uh, this time is gonna be about a, a film, uh, a film director, a movie director. Um, my my first uh, love is, is film. That's what I studied. That's what I went to school for. Uh, I make art and all sorts of things. I guess I'm a storyteller at heart. Uh, and uh, you know, my firm, right, my love has always been uh, film and I watch a lot of films I've been making films I actually I just recently we just recently made a movie and uh, it's, it's touring but anyway not, this is not about me this is about a, a film director uh, named Rex Ingram uh, and I, I also got a book about him because I was really quite quite interested I bought this book by by this lady Rex Ingram it's not a not a not the there's two Rex Ingrams there is also a an actor not the actor uh, the uh, the director Rex Ingram uh, that's that's what I want to talk about i know that the, the actor rex ingram he uh, he's also been uh making movies uh, as well but he's not known as the director rex ingram uh so rex ingram was a, a irish irish director uh, uh he worked in like early ho hollywood i I'm, i've been watching a lot of silent film films recently and i really like i'm mesmerized by the beginning of this uh this this process of filmmaking which is which involves everything right uh, uh so in terms of visual and acting and whatnot, right? So I really like uh, his films. Um, he's made such films as The Force Men of the Apocalypse, The Four Horsemen, The Magician. The Magician is actually a like a satire on the famous magician Alistair Crowley. Perhaps you you know by him. Uh, Scaramouche, you know Scaramouche, Scaramouche. You know, would you do the Fandango? Everybody knows that line from uh, from Queen, but uh, um, you know the original film was, uh, was about this you know this uh, swashbuckling you know with with the sword and uh, uh, the original character named Scaramouche. You know the film was like from 1920s, right? And he's also known for discovering. Um, uh, Ru Rudolf Valentino, right? So Rudolf Valentino was like the f Italian, you know, the Latin lover. It's the he invented that term basically, right? And what was really interesting about Rex Ingram is that he was a romantic. Uh, he had that touch, you know, in a gothic kind of touch to his work that I really like. Like, and it's kind of coming through. You know, it's like an early Tim Burton, like an early, you know, like a Mario Bava. He, like a Roger Corman, has that kind of he, his, his sets, his uh, actors, everything is perfect, per perfect. You know, it's like, it's, it's in a sense, it's almost kind of like the exactity of Wes Anderson, but but mixed with, uh, you know, a, a silent kind of silent genre approach, and uh, you know, a, almost like a gothic element to it. And his films are. Also, ha also have that. Uh, I haven't seen all his films, obviously, right? And I'm still reading the book, uh, uh, which has got ni nice pictures. I, I will include the book uh, below, so if you, if anybody wants to purchase it, you can go ahead and do it. But you know, just first watch his films and see, you know, what he was about. He was, uh, uh, you know, he made some some really interesting, in really interesting stuff. The book has also has some pictures about uh, uh, from him and stuff. But I would, I would say, just first, just watch, you know, watch. Uh, uh, Force Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which is quite quite an epic. And uh, what really fascinated me is that it's not just the sets and 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 the way he was his actors. It's quite incredible how he's able to to render that that uh, emotion from his actors and still stay relevant in terms of storytelling. You know, as a storyteller, I've always been fascinating about uh, 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 you know uh, always always fascinated about about people that really know how to. Tell stories really, really well, and I think that he's he's one of them. Actually, uh, Eric von Straheim, if you know, as, as filmmakers would know his name very, uh, uh, very because he invented MOS, right? And, and without sound, whenever they record on film sets, this is like a film uh, for film geeks over here. Uh, it's you know MOS uh, without sound, without sound. So that's comes from uh, Eric uh, uh, Eric Stroheim. Anyway, I, sorry, I digressed. Uh, Eric Stryholm called Rex Ingram the greatest, the greatest uh, director, um, uh, uh, you know, visionary of all time. Um, so you know, it's it's quite quite fantastic to to you know to be named uh, a, a great a great director by, uh, I think he called him something like a great director or something, um, um, the greatest director. Uh, the gr the world's greatest director, yeah, that's what Eric Stroheim, Stray Stroheim said said about him, right? The world's greatest director, and that's quite a fantastic coming from Eric von Stroheim, right? I only mentioned this and made this parallel with Eric von Stroheim to to uh, you know kind of uh, 
let people know that and uh, that uh, he was quite important. Even though a lot of people, you know, when I went to film school, I know filmmakers and you know the, what what films people watch generally. And I don't think that you know I don't think that uh, um, his name never never came up from anybody from like no that I know of, right? Per, per, perhaps, you know, filmmakers nowadays, like, I don't think that anybody watches his films, right? And if you're a fan of, like, Tim Burton, and if you you really like that romantic, you know, gothic, the unca unca uncanny, you know, Guillermo del Toro has that very, very, I don't know how Guillermo del Toro never mentions him, because he's, I feel that Rex Ingram, he's the, you know, the, the whole, the, the, the beginner of that, uh, of that that kind of like stylistic and you know the gothic element and his films are very very carefully like in, in drama they're quite amazingly uh, crafted um, and he's got a, a of course in romantic you gotta have the bit of melodrama right Edgar Allan Poe Lovecraft you know uh, you know he it, uh, of course right he made a lot of films with Alice Terry which was a, 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 a quite a, a huge star at the time so uh, um, yeah so anyway so check check him out I'll add some films uh, from him and stuff and uh, I will uh, add some films and uh, add the book as well and you guys can check it out anyway thank you very much for checking out this video and have, have a good one and enjoy his films if you want to watch a silent film and you know you're, you're bored on a on a Monday night or whichever day uh, yeah you check out his films anyway have a good one bye bye